Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to another session of One Question a Day. The question that we are going to discuss today is the age changes in alveolar bone. Age changes in alveolar bone, the changes are not specific to alveolar bone, but very similar to that of the other skeleton. Because of its position in the oral cavity, there are some subtle changes based on the functions. Like with any other bone, there, with increasing age, there is an increased risk of osteoporosis since the alveolar bone height and the density of the bone may be reduced by the absence of the calcium. With increase in age, there is in decrease in vascularity. Decrease in vascularity is the key. And with this decrease in vascularity, the amount of nutrition and oxygenation available is reduced. So the bone remodeling rate is reduced and with the presence of your periodontal pathogens, the periodontal ligament may undergo slow changeover. So there is always a risk of the surface irregularity of the alveolar bone facing the periodontal ligament. The alveolar bone may become brittle by the decreased water content in the bone. And spongy, spongy bones may become also brittle due to the decreased water content. While the red bone marrow, which is below the alveolar bone, may become turned fatty with a loss of tooth resorption of alveolar ridge and mental foramen may become close. But that is in case there is loss of tooth. There may be alveolar height reduction. Because of this, the maxillary sinus, because of bone resorption failure, or rather uh, the rate becomes in favor of resorption, the maxillary sinus may appear to be bigger. And the distance between the alveolar crest to the cemento enamel junction increases. And socket, because of irregular deposition, may become uneven. And if Edentulous, if there is a loss of tooth, the alveolar process may decrease in the size. So start, give a diagram. Let us see how another candidate has given answer for the same exam. So she has, he or she has divided the alveolar process into alveolar bone proper and supporting bone. Alveolar bone consists of forms the socket wall, forming the cribriform palate or lamina and the radiological lamina dura, while the supporting bone is made up of the cortical plate, which is buccal or lingual, thick, spongy, and cancellous between the cortical plates and alveolar bone proper, and proceeds to say because all these, there is brittleness developing due to the decreased water content. Spongy bones has becomes with thin trabecula with more spaces, while red bone marrow becomes fatty. Increased risk of osteoporosis, that has to be mentioned, increased risk. With the loss of teeth and resorption of alveolar edge, mental foramen become, become very close. Though not very elaborative, it conveys the meaning. Okay. And with that, we come to the end of the discussion.